everybody, NerdDad5000 back with another reaction video. If this is your first time at the channel, take a second to click that subscribe button. It's easy. All you have to do is... Hit it. And you're subscribed. Also take a second to click that bell icon so you continue to get notifications of any time I release a new video. If this is not your first time at the channel, welcome back, as always. Almost missed this one. Yesterday I was just getting back from camping and was unpacking and cleaning up and had a little bit of yard work to do after that. And almost missed this new official trailer for Star Wars. Well, I said Star Wars. <laughs> almost missed this new official trailer for Star Trek Brave New Worlds. That's wrong also. <laughs> Almost missed this trailer for Star Trek Strange New Worlds. Really looking forward to this show. Love Star Trek. I'm a little behind on some of the other new Star Trek shows. Haven't watched Picard. Have only seen bits and pieces of Discovery. I know Captain Pike and the crew of this Enterprise originally showed up on there, so I'm probably going to need to try to go back and at least watch some bits and pieces of Discovery to get caught up with where these characters are. But at the same time, I kind of feel like this is a standalone. If I haven't seen any of that stuff, I can watch it. Already getting some high praise from uh, from Will Wheaton. I saw a thing he posted this morning. He said he's already got to watch the entire series for work, which I think is his one Star Trek podcast he does where he interviews people from the various Star Trek shows. I'm looking over here to try to see if I have it up so I can see what the name of it is, but I don't. He says it's better than he ever could have hoped or expected, that every second of it was, perf I think he said perfection. Ready Room. That's the name of his show, Ready Room. It's on YouTube, or at least they post it on YouTube. Yeah, it's on YouTube. You can watch it there. Uh, he said it's really, really good, better than he could have ever hoped or expected. So that makes me think this is probably a really good Star Trek show. Really looking forward to it. Not very long before it comes out. Let's look at this official trailer, Star Trek Strange New Worlds. Here we go. Oh, oh, Enterprise already. Oh, that looks like Vulcan. I wonder who these folks are fighting. <laughs> Beaming in. Yeah, I don't recognize any of those aliens. Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> Hello, Enterprise, just hovering right there above the city. This is your captain. It's my mission. To chart the stars. Yes. Push the boundaries of what is known. Yes. Like that beaming effect. I'm standing on the surface of a comet. I love this job. Hi, <laughs> number one. These people. This crew. Oh, that's a good sick bay. I believe we can do anything. Yeah, that's definitely Vulcan. Spot fighting somebody. <sighs> Go where the aliens are. Your presence is blasphemy. Let's talk about this. Find some comp. I think that went well. Okay, he's gonna have a little humor, okay? We should kiss. That seems logical. Spock and is that his Vulcan wife? Pike getting a little action. Maybe we don't touch anything else. Just a suggestion. Yeah. The whole future hangs in the balance. Oh, he's got a bar and a bartender. He goes no to one see. Can know the nice. Future. One can only follow one's instincts. You're the best of Starfleet. Our ability to work together, that's our greatest strength. Yeah. Let's show them what you got. <laughs> like it? Oh, I like that theme song too. Alright. Yeah, that looks really, really good. And from what I hear, it's supposed to be more episodic. I know some of the other Star Trek shows that have come out have been like these huge story arcs. Uh, I do hope they kind of get back to the episodic where it's like little story, little story, little story. Maybe some connection throughout. Uh, action looks good. Special effects looks good. Uh, I think they've poured a ton of money into this show. I hope they have. I hope they make it really good. Anson Mount is Pike. Loving it. Loving it. I've seen some bits and pieces of him from Discovery. I watched the other teaser trailer. Loved him in Hell on Wheels. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to this. Rebecca Romaine is number one. I'm glad they brought her back. I forget the guy's name who plays Spock. 
but the scenes I've seen of him are really good, so glad they got him back. Also, have to learn who some of the other characters are. Now, I know there are these little TV spots coming out, like there was one for Pike. That one girl must have been Uhura, and apparently she's a cadet at this point on the Enterprise, so she was here before Kirk, Spock was here before Kirk, and I think there's a Nurse Chapel. There was one girl in this video that looked like uh, one of the TV spots was about Nurse Chapel, so apparently she was also here before Kirk and McCoy. I knew from the, you know, obviously from the old series that McCoy was not always the doctor. In the cage, there was a completely different doctor when Pike was captain. Uh, I don't know who's going to be doctor here. But yeah, really excited for this now. That really looks good. I missed the date. I think it's May 5th. May 5th. So that's not really long. We're into April now, and then May 5th is, so we're about a month out. Paramount Plus, really, really can't wait to see this one. And as always, if you like what you see, please click subscribe. The easiest way is the little red square that's right over here where I always do the wiggly fingers and the circle thing like that. Also, if you like what you see, take a second to click the bell icon so you continue to get notifications of any time I release a new video. If you like what you see, please click like. Likes are super important. They help my videos get out there. The same with any other channels you watch. And the more our videos get out there, the bigger our channels get, the more videos we can make. So more stuff for you to like. So yeah click that like button what are you hoping to see from this show i mean it looks like it's going to have a lot of action it looks like there's a little bit of humor mixed in uh love anson mount what are you hoping to see are there some backstories that maybe we've like through all of star trek have been hinted at but we've never seen um maybe they'll hit some of those but this is like some serious backstory from before the cage maybe before the cage might be after the cage i don't know we'll have to see where it falls between the cage episode and of course where captain kirk takes uh, control of the enterprise and becomes its commander um, i guess we're going to get to see a glimpse of captain kirk in this show uh, played by an actor who i know but don't know his name i'm so bad with names he was on vampire diaries which i did watch a lot of with my wife when she was watching it and it's not a bad bad show but i can't remember his name anything about the show anything you want to see anything you hope to see put that in the comments i will get back to you as soon as i can and until next time, this has been Nerd Dad 5000. I will see you later.